guys happy sunday long time no see i just took a little break this week from vlogging because hello Mintu. <laughs> because both of the dogs had um surgery freya had her sterilization on tuesday i think it was and then sky had a few teeth taken out on thursday we went for a teeth checkup and realized that he had some bad teeth that needed to be taken out so that's done, and then Freya got sterilized. That has been on our list for a really long time, but we never like really um, found the right time for it, but now it's done. So that's really nice, because she has really intense like dog periods, heat, I guess. Um, so that won't bother her anymore. And I just took a break from vlogging, because it was just so hectic. We were just, my sister was here, and uh, she left yesterday. And we were just taking care of the little patients. We have had a really nice camp out in the living room. And I just had tons of schoolwork to do. So it didn't really seem like a good time to be vlogging because we weren't doing anything vlog worthy, I don't think. And I was just so focused on Sky and Freya. But now it is Sunday and I picked up the camera. It was so nice to start filming again. And I just have my morning overnight oats with some blueberries and coconut milk, really yummy. And we've had a really nice morning. The dogs have their energy back. They are like completely normal. They were so brave and just the best little patients ever. So that's the update on that. And now you're all caught up. I can't wait to start a new week tomorrow. Also, we have such spring vibes here in this part of Finland now. The sun is out. It's so weird having the sun out. It's almost like, do I want it to be out? Because I was so used to the dark. Um, for the majority of the day. So now it's kind of a shock to have sunlight coming in from all the windows um, Super early in the morning too, but I guess we'll get used to that as well. And it's been really warm We had like plus degrees a few days ago. Now it's like minus three minus seven at the most So I don't know is spring coming already. So yeah, but I'm going to eat my oatmeal and spend some time with Frey and Sky on the couch. I think they're ready for a little nap. They have just been going all morning. And then I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello. <laughs> are you the best boy Aww. ever? You are the best boy ever. Aww. Hi. Aww. <laughs> yes. Aww. You have been the bravest. Aww. Here we have a little mattress going on. I put some sheets on the couch and I have all the blankets in the wash because they were kind of dirty anyways. So I thought it was a good time to wash those. So it's now almost three and time to make a late lunch. Also, you guys, I bought this card. It's like a postcard. I bought it a few weeks ago and I just had it in a drawer and I just thought I could frame it because it has all of these coffee like pictures and stuff. So I think it's super cute here in my little coffee station, which will get more <laughs> interesting looking once I get some more of those coffee syrups and other coffee related stuff. But I think it's a really good start. So super cute. And the fridge is looking pretty empty, but I think for lunch, I'm going to warm up half of this vegan panini. I just discovered that the grocery store has these. I thought that they didn't, but they do. I'm so happy. These are just amazing. And they have this filling that's made of like pea protein and bean protein. So it's super yummy. I'm gonna throw half of this in the oven and chop up some tomato to go along with it. And also, because my fridge is so empty, I'm thinking that I might try and order some food like from the grocery store to be delivered at home and i just checked that the earliest that they can do that is on wednesday and now it's sunday and i think i still have food until then but because freya still has her stitches and she's not allowed to scratch them for at least a week more 
so I really don't want to leave her alone or Skype because the surgery was just like a few days ago. So I think I might order some food, some groceries online and do that now so that they arrive on Wednesday morning. The dogs and I are like listening to the snow fall off the roof outside. Um, so it sounds super scary when it really comes down. I have that one pink blanket on the corner because Minto, every time I sit down here to do some work on the computer, she wants to either climb up the couch or just scratch on the couch right there. So I'm trying to kind of save the couch. And here is a quick little lunch. I have some super yummy basil, tomatoes, and it's panini. And it's a bit crispy, but it's perfect. So, I just have my coffee. I think I'm going to take Sky out for a nice walk and then just spend some time with Sky and Freya. They have been sleeping the whole afternoon, so they might want some attention and playing time in a little bit. But then after that, I'm going to continue with some schoolwork. At the moment, I have like two major things that I'm working on. I'm just prepping for my lecture that I'm holding the 17th for the cultural approaches, my water lecture about bottled water. So I'm just doing tons of reading for that. I'm going to try and really wrap up all of the articles I found, some online books that I found, and get yeah, all of my notes just done. And then we have a group project for Middle English. Um, every group has like a different text from the Middle English period. My group and I, we have this one Robin Hood text. I think it's like a poem. It is a poem. Yeah. So we're just gonna do like a presentation on that. Um, so that'll be really interesting. I'll talk more about that once I really get into it. Um, for now, I just like briefly looked at it, did some preliminary notes on it. So those are the two like main things I'm focusing on right now. And then I have my Irish studies readings and then my political developments course. Um, just like some slides and readings for those. And then my literature course, which also takes up a lot of time. And yesterday I planned out next week, like all of my days. Hopefully I can stick to it pretty nicely and get all of the stuff done that I need to. I'm hoping I might get a vlog up on Wednesday, but my days are just so packed for next week. So this is kind of what my week looks like. It's so annoying trying to film the stream because it gets all of those waves. Um, but I'll try and do it quick. So on Monday in the morning, I'm taking Sky to get his worming medication. And then I'm going to read the book that I mentioned, pages 100 to 125. Then I have my Irish class after that. And then right after the Irish class, I'm just going to continue with some notes from that Ireland book. And then take a little break, work on my Middle English homework. I have some like room here to move this around in case I want to, for example, take a nap from 3 to 4. And then I'm going to spend a few hours working on that Robin Hood poem and get started with that. And then just continue planning out my presentation, go over like my general notes. And then after that, continue with the last 25 pages for the day of that ebook. And then I might, if I have the time, energy, um, start to edit this vlog so that I don't have so much to do then on Tuesday and Wednesday. And then Tuesday, water notes, ebook, my literature class, a little break there, Ireland book and reading. And then after that, I'm just going to prep for Wednesday's cultural approaches class and do the pre-assignments for that because two other students have their lectures on Wednesday. And then just work on Robin Hood, water notes, ebook, editing. Then on Wednesday, continue with my Middle English study diary for the week. Then I have my um, class, ebook, the last 20 pages, Ireland book, and then finish up some slides from last week's political developments class. I missed a few of the slides. And then 
continue with my study diary, water notes, and then I'll see where I am with the editing, and then continue that. And then on Thursday in the morning, I actually have my therapist appointment online, and we don't have a lecture for Middle English this week. Um, we have our next one actually the week after the break, which is our presentation week. Uh, so until then, no lectures, but instead I'll just work on my water notes, continue with my political development notes, all of the materials that have been uploaded to Moodle, some articles and stuff, and then I have the class. And then I want to take some more notes on the Zac Efron documentary, because I'm thinking of incorporating that into my presentation as a pre-assignment for the other students. And then Friday is still pretty open, but I just have my water lecture notes and Robin Hood. Julia will be coming on Thursday night, and she has a thing at the university on Friday. Then I have some literature note taking, but the weekend is still pretty open. I'll see what I get done and then move stuff around into the weekend. So yeah, and also my new in package is coming on Tuesday, I think. So I'll show that on Tuesday. And I got my grocery order done. It'll be arriving on Wednesday between 9 and 12 in the morning. Got all of my stuff. Super excited about that. And yeah, is there anything else for now? Mm, I don't think so. But just going to, to head out for a little walk with Sky and then catch up with you guys in a little bit. Are we gonna go for a little walk? Are we gonna go for a little walk? Yes! Yes! You are the cutest! You are the cutest! Hello! Hello! And who is napping in their little crate? Look at that little nap face. Little angel. Okay, so I lit some candles, set the vibe, and I did a quick cleanup in the kitchen because I just could not focus and sit down on the, on the computer knowing that it was pure chaos in the kitchen. But now I'm just going to work on my ebook notes for half an hour and then make some dinner and then just continue with schoolwork for the next few hours. And also, quick side note, um, I'm just two pages in, and I'm already trying to procrastinate. But Julia and I, we watched the first season of True Detective, is it plural? Um, the one with Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson. It was the best show ever, like so well made, and I'm crushing hard on Matthew McConaughey, because I've seen him in movies like Interstellar, and such, but in True Detective, he was just so good, and it was amazing. I really want to watch it soon, again. It was the best TV I've seen in a while, and I know I'm pretty late to the game. I don't know how I hadn't heard of it before Julia mentioned it. And now we started to watch season two, but it was just so bad. It didn't get us hooked at all, but then I read that season three was way better. So we started that and just skipped the second season and so far the third season is really good too and really got us hooked into the plot and it has that same vibe as the first season. So really happy about that. That was so good. So that was a quick update on what I'm watching. I actually watched some House last night, an episode or two. It's just a classic. I love Hugh Laurie. Ooh, Night Manager. I really want to watch that again with my sister, she hadn't seen it. I watched it with my mom. That's another like top series for me. It was so well made too. And there's just so many good shows that I want to watch over and over again.
Okie dokie, so it is now 7 and I really like how I have learned to like divide my schoolwork into shorter time periods. For example now I just spent 30 minutes on my ebook and then when I continue with my Ireland book my mind is fresh and I don't get like tired from focusing on one thing. Because I remember like I used to study, for example I'd spend many many hours working on one thing and just focus on that and I would just be so tired and my mind would be like in this haze of like being overworked but now that I just spend for example 30 minutes or an hour on one thing then move on to the next and then come back to the earlier thing it gives a nice variety into the day and I don't feel like my brain gets tired so I don't know how that works, but it seems to work for me, so I'm really happy about that. But now I'm going to make some dinner. Hopefully I have some rice, because I want to make like this rice tofu veggie bowl. Also, I am so getting over this rug. I just spilled some um, leftover coffee on this carpet, and I just want to get rid of it, so I might roll it up tonight and just throw outside because it's super old. It's my grandparents old carpet and it's been here for a year now so I think it's kind of gross and I just really want to get a new fresh rug for this kitchen area. I'm so happy I still have a little bit of rice left. Just the perfect amount for tonight's dinner. throw this into the oven. I have some of this really yummy like tomato basil flavored tofu and then just some frozen veggies and I think I will even get some leftovers for tomorrow. Just showered, finished up all my schoolwork for the night, and we're just gonna head to bed with the doggies and Mintu. So I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so good morning guys, happy Monday. We have just started ready for the day, it's a little over 7. I'm just gonna take the dogs outside and then do the first portion of my readings for today. I want to get the first 25 pages done of what I have of that ebook for, scheduled for today. And then around 8, I will go and do some snow stuff outside, just do some random shoveling because we had tons of snow fall off the roof. So we're going to go check that out. And then we have that warming medication at 9. So we're going to take both of the dogs in the car. So that's the plan for this morning. Who is this little kitty sleeping over here on the mattress? How are you so cute? Why are your paws so far apart? We made it to the vet. We still have like 10 minutes before the appointment sky is in the background. I'm happy the roads are really good because all the snow and ice has melted from the highway. So it's really nice to drive at the moment. And 
yeah just waiting here for nine minutes oh my mom sent me photos of um my sister's dog and cat back home and they are the cutest oh i can't handle it and freya looks super cute in her carrier hi freya Who was such a good boy and who got some treats from the vet okay so i just stopped at this carpet cleaner um i just saw that they had a carpet cleaner right near the vet and i really want to get the entryway carpet and then the two carpets that i have in both bedrooms and yeah, I think those three carpets I want to get cleaned. So I just popped in and asked like how it works. So I just bring them in and I asked the price and it's surprisingly expensive. Like one carpet that's 160 times 200 centimeters. Um, and the material that I told him that it is, it would be like 50 euros. So kind of expensive, I don't know. But then again, how else would I wash them? I can't wash them myself. So... Let's okay, see. so this is the face of someone who is dead from shoveling the heaviest snow ever. What time did I leave to go outside? It was probably a bit over 10, I would say. Uh, that's when we got home from the vet. And it's now 12. And I'm dying of thirst. I am exhausted because I tried to shovel all the snow that fell off the roof. And then the snow that has gathered around the house because you don't want it to like melt into the crannies and the tiles and the what's that called the like base of the house so I tried to kind of shovel that away from the backyard my dad is gonna come later this evening and do like the front side um, that side is okay and now the backyard is okay so all the snow is melting and it weighs a ton and I am so tired. My lecture starts in 15 minutes. So I think I'm just going to put on some fresh clothes and drink 10,000 liters of water and just try and relax for a moment. And so you can see, um, kind of, the snow is way higher than it looked on camera. Like when I was walking, I was I had to kind of tread in the snow right there. Um, so that I was able to turn around with the shovel and stuff. And it was up to my waist. And this whole side was just covered in snow. But in hindsight, I should have made a path go around the house when it first started to snow. And we got this heavy snow because... Um, you don't want to leave it for spring when it starts to melt. So next winter, I'm definitely going to stay on top of the sides of the house better. But I think it's fine. It would be great if Minto didn't try and bite my ankles when I'm trying to talk. <laughs> Honestly, this cat. But I'm going to warm up some lunch. Leftovers from yesterday, that rice and tofu. Uh, I can't wait to eat. And I have five minutes to hop on to the lecture. So it would be really nice to just sit down for a while and chill out with some Irish studies. Assessment of Sir Roger Casement. Uh, I've mentioned him to you before. Population in Britain. So uh, anybody who had military experience and was in prison. Okay, so class just ended. It was really fun. Um, as always, I love this teacher's classes. They're the best. But now it is time for an afternoon coffee while I continue reading this other ebook before my dad gets here around three. So I'm gonna drink some coffee and work on some more notes. You guys, I'm so happy. It's now not even four. And we are done outside together my dad and i we just finished the front side of the house 
And now I think I'm just going to enjoy, watch some YouTube, drink the rest of my coffee, and just chill out for a moment before I continue with my evening stuff. So I'm super happy with today. So I'm getting kind of hungry, it's almost five, but I don't want to make dinner yet, so I just threw the rest of that panini that I started yesterday into the oven. Gonna eat that as a little pre-dinner snack, and I'm just getting started with some schoolwork for the evening. And I think I'm gonna heat up the sauna tonight and really warm up. It's so good. Okay, so I have the sauna warming up. I think it will be ready in half an hour. And I think I will just do a quick kitchen cleanup. So it'll be nice to make dinner. I think I have the stuff to make some veggie wraps. I might do that. Kind of craving something crunchy and salady. But later on, I still have to work on my Middle English homework for this week and then get started with that Robin Hood analysis for the presentation and then start to edit this vlog. And I really want to get this up like Tuesday, Wednesday-ish um, because I think the last time I uploaded was like a week ago Saturday. So I really want to get a new vlog up soon. My last clip cut off, I don't know why, but anyway, I have my tomato, kidney beans, I'm gonna throw these in the oven, spinach, red onion, tortilla, and this Vio Life garlic and herbs, which is delicious. So I'm going to make some yummy wraps with these. I have to buy some more spices, I only have some garlic powder, and some salt. And then some lime pepper. These beans are perfect when they kind of like crack open like this and get a bit crunchy and crispy. They are just perfect. Uh, I cannot wait to eat. These look so good. Okay, so you guys, this is so cool. This is the homework that I'm working on for Middle English. We are supposed to read lines 1 to 12 of the um, St. Julian the Hospitaller legend story in this Vernon manuscript from the uh, 1400s, which is so cool. So this is the actual manuscript. We are just gonna analyze like the differences with this and then the modern version and then the one in the Scottish legendary. And they were written in different dialects and stuff. Um, so I just have to comment on the differences and the script and everything. And this is just so cool. Uh, why can't we write like this nowadays? Like honestly. And now after dinner, let's pour ourselves a glass of the kombucha. This raspberry one is my favorite. This is just so good. I think I might end off this vlog here. Um, and I can start to upload this footage to the laptop and I think that after the shower I'm just gonna be so tired and I just want to um, Get my evening stuff done. So I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys